MotorWeek.com. Your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. German car companies typically take a measured response to the market. When introducing a new car design, usually only one variation is launched initially, say a four-door sedan. Then a short time later, a wagon arrives, and next a coupe, and maybe even a convertible. And that's pretty much how BMW has handled the latest three series. With sedan, wagon, and coupe already on the street, it's time for a drop top that's as solid as the rest of the lineup. BMW never stops refining its products. That means their all-new 2007 3 Series convertible not only includes the improvements found in other 3 Series stablemates, but tops it off with a standout of its own. That would be the convertible top itself. Built with three rigid steel panels, this is BMW's first power retractable hardtop. Besides flowing fixed roof styling, the steel drop top provides better all weather protection, a quieter interior, and blind spot reduction thanks to 30% larger side glass. And like all BMW drop tops, it's a snap to manage with the push of a button to smoothly stow itself under a sleek power deck lid. Total time top up to top down just 22 seconds. But don't plan on long open air vacations for a foursome, since like most of its breed, lowering the top reduces trunk space from a respectable 12 cubic feet to a sports car size 7 cubic feet. The 3 Series convertible rides on the same 108.7 inch wheelbase as the rest of the lineup, but the folding steel top and reinforcements add over 400 pounds of weight. To get this more substantial convertible up to speed are the same 3 Series twin cam i6 engines we've reported on before. The 328i wears the normally aspirated unit with 230 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque. It features BMW's double Vanos variable valve timing. Our test 335i sports direct injection and twin turbochargers for 300 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. Both versions offer a six-speed manual or six-speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. The 3 Series drop top may be heavier, but it still rocks to 60 in only 5.4 seconds. That's only a tenth slower than the coupe we tested a couple of months back. And the drop top clears the quarter mile in 14 seconds at 105 miles per hour. And the 335i comes back down from speed just as fast, with stops from 60 averaging only 117 feet. The brake pedal feels a bit wooden, but the four-wheel disc with ABS and stability control bite hard and straight. BMW has avoided hard topping their convertibles up to now over concerns of weight and higher center of gravity. And when you tip the 335i into a corner, you do sense a bit of extra roll momentum. But the front end continues to exhibit the quick and direct response all three series are noted for with a 50-50 chassis balance that is ideal for fast driving. And best of all, it feels as stiff as a fixed hardtop. In fact, it's 50% stiffer than the last 3 Series convertible. So there's no discernible chassis flex to affect handling or ride. On all kinds of roads, the 335i convertible feels solid and stable. There's no A-pillar and header shake and no body twist over bumps. The 335i convertible also delivers respectable mileage. Government fuel economy ratings are 20 city, 29 highway. We average 24 miles per gallon on premium grade fuel. Of course, we can't discuss a BMW convertible without talking luxury appointments, and the 335i cabin delivers plenty. Standards include leather, burl walnut trim, automatic climate controls, and a Logic 7 audio system. The rear seat is more generous than last year, though it's still a tight fit for tall adults. When the top is up, the larger side glass makes it feel much less claustrophobic. Now, the price of getting this high-performance Sun Chaser on the road starts at $43,975 for the 328i convertible. That's about a 10% premium over the Volvo C70 hardtop convertible. Our test 335i convertible begins at $49,875.
BMW has been building 3 Series convertibles for 20 years, and every iteration tops the one before. Only now, it's the top itself that sets a new benchmark. Coming up, an entire town goes green.